Hey, how's it going? Um, today is a good day. It's raining outside, I've been studying for hours, and I'm finally taking a break to do this. Because coding is fun. So today we actually do get to enter some lines of code um, to transform the black squares that we have right now to X's or O's, depending on whose turn it is. So this should be fun. We're not going to implement the win or lose conditions just yet, but we're going to get right to that at this moment, right now. Let's go. Okay, so uh, since last video, I've remade all of these uh, squares smaller because I remember when I saw the big X's, they looked really big and that, um, to me that wasn't good. I also renamed my script button press. I have it open up right here. Oh, it might be a bit too big. And uh, I've removed the two default, the start and update functions, I've removed them. Now, what we want is that when this is clicked, it'll show uh, X or O, depending on that. In order to do that, I will need um, to have uh, an X and an O available. Sprite X and public Sprite O. I'll get these done. And when I do that, and I switch back to Unity, uh, let me open my prefab. Oh, and don't worry, I'm using Writer here, but Unity comes with um, mono behavior. It's not, it's not to my liking, so I'm using the JetBrains one, uh, uh, IntelliJ, whatever. This one, I like it better. So by adding the public fields in um, our code, they've became public in the Unity editor here as X and as O. Uh, what we're going to do is actually drag and drop the images. So my O is going to be an O and my X is going to be an X. So that it knows that X is X and O is O. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Next here we're going to add a function. We're going to call it... Uh, I'm going to make it public as well because I want my editor to be able to see it. Um, uh, change image? Sure. Oops. Pardon me. And of course open your thingies. Uh, so what we want is first to see if it actually works. So debug.log and print out what up dog. And then when I switch back to Unity here, I still got my X's and my O's. If I click play when it works, because it auto saves, I guess. Play. I should be able to see in my console what up dog appearing. I do not, huh? Isn't that bizarre? Let's see, let's see, let's see if I open a button. If I check my script here, ah, I figured it out. Look here, none. On runtime, I don't have a script running. That would explain it. So go in your prefab, oops, prefab. Uh, the button here, where it says none, uh, just drag your prefab in it. No function. We want button press. I want... How do we call it? Change image? Yeah, there we go. Change image. Now this should be a... Yep, now all of our little uh, tiles here, they have it as well. Because we've changed it in the prefab. Now if you try... And I click, what up dog? Yay. Oh, there you go. Every time I click, it says what up dog. Perfect. So now we know this works. So far, so good. Now I don't need that, so I'll comment it out. What I do want to do is change the image of my button. So I think if I do this, get component image, and then we decide that we want the, the sprite. No, just sprite equals uh, x, let's say, step one, and then I gotta check if I'm gonna see if this works. Okay, updated. Yay, we have x's appearing. Oh, that's, oh, this, oh, there we go. So now we have a full board and we can't click over another one. Perfect. I like that. Awesome. So that works. Now what we want to do 
is add a, a counter, I guess, to know if we're uh, which turn we are. Do we put an X or do we put an O? So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make this private and uh, turn. Um, and we're gonna add a the start method. Public start. Okay. Turn equals zero. Um, and here we're gonna say so if turn modulo two equals equals zero. So if when you divide by two, what remains is zero. We're gonna do x, and if not, we're gonna do o. So else equals oh damn, copy paste, my best friend. And then we are going to increment turn by one. Oops, plus plus equals one. And also, because I'm not sure if this works, I'm actually going to go here and type in the turn. So we go turn number plus turn. That way I know which turn we're actually on when we're pressing a button. I think this is going to work. Hopefully this works. Okay, this is updated. We got an X, turn number zero, turn number zero. Okay, why does it do that? I think it's because of the start function. Start function. Oh! For this particular button. Okay, so this particular button goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not the global turn. So I need to change that. How do I do that? Um, let's see. Uh, it's a specific per button, so I need a new, a new script, which is going to be for the whole game. So on the main camera, can I add a component here? Add component, new script, uh, let's call it a game mechanics, because let's do that. <laughs> I'm going to open game mechanics and what I'm going to do is just copy what I've done inside game mechanics and hope that it works. Oh, what? Did I not open it? Whatever, I can open it from here. On start. So I need it to not be private. Um, let's try public. Public turn int int int. Okay, and start turn equals zero. Okay. I don't need the update method so far. Uh, so remove this from here. Oh, is this small for you guys? Here you go. Damn. Taking care of my peeps. If. So we can go and grab that. Do I need to add it? I don't know if I need to add it. I'm going to try something. Game mechanics dot turn. Non cannot access non-static fields. So I'm going to make this public. That's it. Int turn. I don't care about this. Okay. Plus game mechanics dot turn. Can I game mechanics dot turn plus equals one? And we'll see if this works. Which means I don't need the start function anymore. This is the joys of programming. Figuring things out as you go. I love that. Uh, did you update? Yes. Let's go. Let's see how much I broke it. X. Oh, woo! Yay! Perfect. Oh, if I click somewhere else, is it? Awesome. Okay. One, two, three, five. 
that's great. This is what I wanted to do for today. And it's working. It's done. So I'm happy with that. Uh, next time we will implement, I guess, the win condition. Yeah, that's fun. Okay. That's fun. Awesome. Peace. Like, subscribe, be nice, and stuff.